What well, time right now is 603 uh, thousands of homes in Cleveland left uh, vacant and abandoned for years and we're spending a year investigating the impact. The city is finally starting to aggressively demolish them. That's some good news, but with that comes yet another problem. The 18 e community reporter Lauren Wilson uh, live to explain the rodent issue they're dealing with there. Yeah, good morning, guys. Rats, mice, possums, even coyotes, all emerging out of these abandoned homes once they come down, trying to find new places to live, like Keisha Condelario's house. And now she tells me she has run out of options to keep them out. Just wanting some type of uh, feedback. Some type of support. Tears of frustration after she spent months trying to eradicate her home of these mice and rat feces. I've been feeling a little overwhelmed and um, frustrated. Her daughter sick for months. No At first, she had no idea why. Then I emptied out all her containers where her toys are held and there was a bunch of mouse droppings in the bottom of the container. Now redoing her whole kitchen just to keep them out. So they were able to get in through the hole and then coming up the pipes and then going into my cabinets. Candelario says it all started this summer when abandoned homes on her street were demolished. Her neighbors experiencing the same thing. The rodents are definitely a problem. But Cleveland City Councilman Tony Brancatelli says the homes aren't to blame. There's usually never anything living in these houses. Now, Councilman Brancatelli told me, Councilman Brancatelli told me if there is a rodent problem, the health department will come out and bait for them. But Candelario says when she called, she was told she needed to get an exterminator herself. Live in Cleveland, Lauren Wilson for the E-Team. Lauren, thank you. 605.